Hello friends, I'm Oom and today I'm gonna tell you the best open source alternatives to popular applications. So, let's get started. So, the first app is the alternative to video editors, specifically Adobe Premiere Pro. Let me introduce you, Flowblade, a free and open source video editing software that is designed to be fast, efficient and user-friendly. It has a modern and intuitive interface that is designed to be easy to use, even for those who are new to video editing. The interface is divided into three main sections, the timeline, the preview window and the tool panel. The timeline is the place where you assemble your video by adding clips and transitions and effects. You can add multiple audio and video tracks and easily move clips around them. And the tool battle provides you access to various editing tools such as cutting, trimming, splitting and you can also access various effects, transitions and color correction tools from the tool panel. You see Flowblade supports wide range of video and audio formats including HD and 4K video. You can add unlimited video and audio tracks to your project and Flowblade includes a range of built-in effects, transitions which you can add to your own custom effects too. You can easily add titles, subtitles, closed captions, everything. And Flowblade is designed to be fast and efficient even on low-powered computers. It has a multi-thread architecture to take advantage of multiple CPU cores and makes it faster in video editing. It is available in Windows, macOS and Linux. So overall, Flowblade is a powerful and user-friendly video editing software that is well suited for wide range of video editing tasks. From simple trimming to cutting to complex multi-track projects, you can do everything on it. And now next move to the second application which is the alternative of Adobe Photoshop. Let me introduce you, GIMP or in other words, GNU Image Manipulation Program. It's a free and open source graphics editor that is used widely throughout the world for image editing, manipulation and creation. You see, GIMP offers a wide range of features such as Support for multi-image formats including JPEG, PNG, GIF and more. And it has advanced image manipulation tools such as layers, filters and effects. And it also supports plugins and scripts too. It has a user-friendly interface that is customizable and flexible as per your needs. And it supports advanced color management and color correction. And it offers a wide range of selection tools such as Bezier tool or the intelligent scissors. And it also has amazing and advanced painting and brush tools too including support for custom brushes. And you see it has amazing and wide range of plugins and scripts available which can be used to extend its functionality. It has a plugin for Adobe Photoshop compatibility too. And you can also automate your task easily on it, which actually saves a lot of time. It's available on Windows, macOS and Linux and it has an active community of users and developers. And now the third application is the alternative of Notion. Let me introduce you. Marktext. Marktext is a simple and elegant markdown editor, which is widely used as Notepad too, or I should say a notes app. It is available in Linux, macOS and Windows and as it is an open source project, its, its latest version is always available in their GitHub page. It focuses on speed and reliability and offers a distraction-free writing environment. It supports syntax highlighting and auto-completion too. And it has live preview for features that allows you to preview your markdown text in real time. And now our next application is the alternative of MS Office. Let me introduce you. LibreOffice, a free and open source office suite that is a powerful alternative to MS Office. You see, it has a clean and intuitive interface that is easy to use even for those who are new to office, work and softwares. It supports wide range of file formats including MS Office formats too. It has advanced formatting and styling options. It supports for images, charts and other multimedia elements too. And it has built-in grammar and spell checker. It supports macros, extensions, collaborative tools such as real-time commenting and chat changes. It has everything. And this office suite includes a range of applications such as Writer for word process, Calc for spreadsheet, Impress for presentation, Draw for vector graphics, Base for database, and Math for formula editing application. And LibreOffice can be customized to suit your individual needs. You can apply amazing and beautiful themes on it. You can add new features and modify the software to suit your specific workflow. And it has a strong focus on security with built-in features like encryption and password protection. And that is why in my opinion, LibreOffice is a powerful and versatile office suit that is a great alternative to Microsoft Office. It's free and open source in nature and combined with wide range of features and application, 
makes it a popular choice for individuals and organizations around the world. And now let's move to the last application which is alternative to VS Code. Let me introduce you Z. You see Zed is a high performance multiplayer code editor developed by the creators of Atom and Treesitter in efficient code editing capabilities. It has real time collaborating and editing features with other developers and supports a wide range of plugins to extend its functionality. It is available in Linux, Mac OS and Windows and this code editor is designed to offer productivity that can be felt by the users. It is designed to offer fast performance which helps the user to work efficiently. And this code editor has a built-in terminal that offers shell access and it has various themes that can be used by developers to, you know, make it look better. And the code editor also offers channels that can be used for discussion, planning and writing softwares with a whole team. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you do, then subscribe for daily dose of awesome tech videos uploaded on this channel. And I'll meet you in the next video. Till then, I am signing out.